Yo, what's up with y'all boys and girls, man? Hey, it's Jay Briggs here continuing to cook up this NBA action, man. Y'all know we do here on the Jam Session. We cook up every single game, every single day, man. Yesterday, we cashed our NBA player of the day. Shout out to the Miami Heat, man. Hashtag Heat Culture. Um, do you trust a losing basketball team, the Chicago Bulls, a team that had a losing record all season? Lost more games on the road than they've won all season to win a very important game down in Miami. No, sir. I did not. Shout out to Miami Heat, man. No Rozier. No Jimmy. Didn't matter. Shout out Tyler Hero and company, man. Them boys got it done. We did drop the other one, though. Sacramento. <sighs> Trash. That's all I got to say. Trash. That little carousel is hilarious. The Kings can't beat the Pelicans. The Pelicans can't beat the Lakers, but the Lakers can't beat the Kings. It's hilarious. But anyways, adios, amigos, to the Chicago Bulls, your Chicago Bulls, and to the Sacramento Kings. We will no longer be lighting the beam this year. Adios to them two teams, man. Money. Making Saturday NBA playoff time, baby. No longer in the play-in tournament. The actual playoffs are here. And y'all know the drill, man. We're going to cook it up and try to smash it per usual. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as I always say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And of course... I have premium plays over at the site, including my NBA player of the day. Man, again, we hit it yesterday. Looking to go back to back on it today, man. You guys can scoop it up. I really do love today's NBA playoffs. Play of the day, man. Money making Saturday. Y'all know the drill, man. We're finna cook it up and try to smash it per usual. So without further ado, man, let's do exactly that. Let's make some money today. Without further ado, man, let's hop right into today's NBA action. All right, ladies and gentlemen, playoff time, baby. Let's get her done. First game up, we got the best money-making team in the NBA, the Orlando Magic. They're out on the road facing the Cleveland Cavaliers. Cleveland, four-and-a-half point home favorites here in this one. I think this is going to be actually one of the best series in the first round. Two really evenly matched teams, two young, up-and-coming, hungry teams, two teams really looking to do something that their franchise is haven't done in quite some time. So um, legacies are made in these type of series right here. And I don't think a lot of people are really as excited about this series as I am. Game one, here's how I see it, man. I'm on the Orlando Magic plus the four and a half. I'm also going to take them straight up on the money line. Reason being, I think game one is a legitimate 50-50 game. Um, Cleveland has shown me nothing since the All-Star break to really suggest they should be four-and-a-half-point home favorites in this game. Um, I know they have played their much better basketball at home at the crib over the last couple seasons, but four-and-a-half-point home favorites I think is a stretch. Um, again, the Magic are the best money-making team in the NBA. ATS, man, these boys be cashing like no other, as you see on your screen, 51-31 and 31 against the number this season. Um or this is what I'm looking to target early here in the postseason. I'm looking to target defensive teams, really good defensive teams, and unders. I just think nerves will be bad early to start these playoff series, especially for younger teams kind of like these two. Um, two teams that don't have a ton of playoff experience. So I, I think that you know shots that they were m maybe taking and hitting in the regular season may not fall here in the postseason, as I say all the time. Regular season basketball and postseason basketball are basically two totally different basketball games. Um, so I could see this being a defensive battle, lower scoring game. I really like the under here in this game. Um, but I also like the Magic. If it's that style game, I think it favors the Magic, uh, one of the better defensive teams in the league. I think the Magic have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. So getting plus over plus 150, sign me up there. Here's the other thing. Cleveland, last time we seen these boys in the postseason, man, they got bullied. 
The New York Knicks bullied these boys around last season. I don't know if many of you remember that, but I sure do. Julius Randle had his way. There were some terrible quotes coming out of that series after the fact as well. Jared Allen, the lights were just too bright. Well, my boy, if them lights were bright then, I have no reason to doubt that they won't be bright here as well. The postseason is the postseason. Um, the Magic are a really, 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 really good defensive team. I think that causes Cleveland some trouble, some issues. If the Magic come out here and put Jonathan Isaac out there, Mr. Clamp God, on Donovan Mitchell, I think Donovan Mitchell may struggle. He may struggle mightily. We've seen him struggle in some postseasons recently. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, these are the last couple games we see Donovan Mitchell in a Cleveland Cavs jersey. I actually like the Magic for the series. Um, I like the Magic here game one. I like the under here game one as well. Next game up, we got the Phoenix Suns out on the road facing the Minnesota Timberwolves, a.k.a. the House of Disappointment. Man, Minnesota, one-and-a-half point home favorites here in this one. Hey, this is a really good series as well. I'm excited for this one as well. Can the big three, Kevin Durant, Devin Booker, and Bradley Beal get it done? I think they have a big task going up here. These are two teams that are totally opposite. One is we're just trying to outscore you. And the Phoenix Suns and the other, the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves, we're going to lock your ass up. What did I just tell you guys in the last segment? Here in early in the playoffs, I'm leaning towards defense. I think defense, like they say in the NFL, it travels. Luckily for Minnesota, they're at home at the crib. Um, shout out to them for a good season thus far this season. Look, what has been my problem and story with Phoenix all season? More often than not, this team is just overrated, overvalued. And I think that's the case here. Do the Suns have the, the better top end talent? Maybe. But I think the Timberwolves are just the better basketball team. And I think defensively, if Phoenix goes on a you know, on a bad shooting stretch, it's over. I really think that because of how good Minnesota is defensively. Like, Phoenix has to be on their A game all series if they want to beat the Timberwolves. And at home, at the crib, I trust the Timberwolves. I see no reason not to trust the Timberwolves. Man, they were really good this season, just straight up at home. Uh, what was their record straight up at home this season? Minnesota, 30 and 11. Straight up at home this season. They won 73% of their games at home at the crib. Hey, Phoenix overrated, overvalued. That's why they were one of the worst ATS teams in the NBA all season. I trust Minnesota here in game one, man. I think defensively they lock in. I also like the under here in this game um, for kind of the same reasons I talked about last game. I just think early in the playoffs, the shots that were falling in the regular season, they're not going to be falling in the postseason simply on the fact that it's two totally different games. you got to kind of adjust to, to the postseason. Um, now, I know the Suns have a lot of playoff experience over there. They might be fine, but they might not, especially in Minnesota. Uh, I expect Minnesota to be ruckus today. Like, this, you know, uh, the Timberwolves are good this year. We'll see if they can uh, get over the hump this season, but I like them here in game one. Give me Minnesota laying the one and a half and the under. Next game up, we got the Philadelphia 76ers out of the road facing the New York Knicks. Knicks, three and a half point home favorites here in this one. Of all four games today, this is probably my least favorite. Um, reason being is I think this is a legitimate 50-50 game. But what scares me is in B. He is playing, but it's clear, cut, and obvious he is not 100%. Um, that is obvious to the naked eye. He is not 100%. He does not look like the MVP in Bede. Shout out to my guy, Jalen Brunson. Let's start there. Um, shout out to my guy, Jalen Brunson. He has arrived, um, and he's balling for the New York Knicks, man. If I were to play this game, I would take the Philadelphia 76ers straight up on the money line. I think that's where the value is in this legitimate 50-50 game. Can the Knicks win this game and cover? Yes, they can. Um, 
Do I expect them to do so? No, I don't. I think... I think if Embiid was 100%, I think the Sixers would win this series 4-6. Right now, he looks to me to be like 60%. I ain't gonna lie. He looked like 60 So, it's hard for me to just want to back that. I love Maxi. Tobias Harris is okay. Um, I love the addition of Buddy Hill. I like that Nick Nurse is the coach this season and not, you know, Doc Rivers. I'm going to take Philadelphia here straight up on the money line. Again, this is my probably my least favorite game. I could make an argument for New York at home at the crib. I really could. But I'm getting plus money with New York. I mean, with the Sixers in a very, very, very winnable spot. You feel me? Like, if even if you're a Knicks fan, you can agree with me that the Sixers have a legitimate shot to win this game outright. So at that price, I kind of want to attack that. The Sixers... They're not really a hard team to figure out. If you think they're going to win the game, take them. <laughs> if you think they're going to lose the game, fade them. It's really that simple. That's why their ATS numbers kind of look like they look. 47 and 35, 48 and 35. It's kind of why they look like they look. Um, I know this is not the best explanation. I know it's not, and I apologize for that. But I couldn't really find no deep angles in this game. A lot of the Sixers numbers are not the same because Embiid missed a significant amount of time. His numbers recently, you don't really know how to look at them because he's injured and banged up. But they still did come back and beat the Heat the other day. Um, the Knicks, man, they've done nothing in my lifetime. So it's hard to suggest that that this team is ready and prone to do it now. I That's what I'm saying. When I look at this basketball game, I think Philadelphia has a legitimate shot to win it outright, so I will attack the plus money with Philadelphia. Give me the Sixers. Total, I lean under. I lean under in this one as well. Um, we saw that Heat Sixers game be low scoring, 105-104, I think was the final score in that one. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if kind of in that airspace here. That's right on the total, 208 and a half, but... All it's going to take is probably like a two, three-minute cold stretch. And I think, again, in the first game of the playoffs, that is very likely to happen. Lean towards an under Sixers. Knicks. Last and final game of the night, man. We got the Denver Chicken Nuggets at home at the crib, laying seven and a half on the Los Angeles Lake Show. Lakers. Look. Short, sweet, simple. I hate fading Denver in Denver. It's something I really don't do. The, the Nuggets go stupid, dummy, crazy at home at the crib. They've won nine straight meetings over the Los Angeles Lake Show Lakers, um, dating back to last season. Remember, they swept the Lakers in the Western Conference Finals last year. Everybody knows I love LeBron. I'm his biggest fan. I think he is the GOAT. But he's 39, 40. He's the oldest player in the league. This is not on him. This is on Anthony Davis is who it's on. And um, do we trust him to show up and play Jokic tough? And the, the numbers suggest hell no. So it's hard for me to trust the Lakers here in this game. Simple. The million-dollar question is, do you trust Anthony Davis? If you trust Anthony Davis, take the Lakers. If you don't trust Anthony Davis, lay the points with the Nuggets. I don't trust Anthony Davis. Until he shows me that he can show up against Jokic, I'm not going to do so. What was that, game one in the postseason last year? Anthony Davis had one of his best career playoff games he's ever had. Still got his lunch ate by Nikola Jokic. <laughs> Still got his lunch, eh? And they lost. So, it's on the shoulders of AD. Can he slow down Jokic? And I don't think he can. I, we, we have enough documented tape, film, numbers, everything to suggest he just can't do it. Um, and I think that's really all this boils down to, is can Anthony Davis stop Nikola Jokic? Everybody else, we kind of know where we're going to get. LeBron's going to get his. Murray's going to get his. Michael Porter Jr. is going to hit his threes. Aaron Gordon's going to have some super crazy, freakish athletic plays. 
He's going to hit some crazy threes. He's going to be like, why the hell is Aaron Gordon shooting threes? And he's going to make a few. Um, you know, Reeves going to have his moments. D'Lo going to be D'Lo. Really cold one game. Might go for 40 another. But ultimately, all that out the window, it's going to come down to can Anthony Davis contain Nikola Jokic? And I don't think so. Until I see it, I can't bet that it will happen. So with that being said, I don't fade Denver in Denver often, and I'm not doing it here either. I'm on the Denver Chicken Nuggets at home at the crib where they go stupid, dummy, crazy here in our last and final game of the night. I also lean towards the under. And that's going to conclude this episode of my NBA Jam Session, as always. I appreciate each and every one of you boys and girls that continue to tune in and watch this video. If you appreciate the content that I do, all I ask is that you smash that like button for me. You subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And as always, say, man, if you're rocking with me, rock with me. I'm active on Twitter and Instagram all day long. There's a link for that in the description below. And, of course, I have premium plays over at the site, including that NBA play of the day. Man, we did hit it yesterday with the Miami Heat. Looking to go back-to-back. Back. I absolutely love today's, man. You can scoop it up over at Pick Dogs Premium. Money making Saturday. The playoffs are here, baby, man. Let's continue to try to kick the crap out of the books, man. It's been your guy, Jay Briggs. See y'all tomorrow. I'm out of here.